Hey, it's Kelly here. So it's a new video today. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the contest, or not, it's not really a contest, the giveaway thing, and I hope a whole bunch of you enter, and I hope that you will win. Somebody will win. People will win. Not me. I already own the stuff. Anyways, so, um, today's video is about my retail experiences. Um, I have a couple. I have been blessed that the first couple of years of my life, when I was a teen, I did not have to work. Uh, I babysat most of my teen, uh, until I was 18 when I had my first job at RVs. And nothing really happened. I, I didn't work there very long. I think I worked there like three months. Anyways, um... But I guess that's where I probably got the bug from, where I, I enjoy retail. I enjoy being, working customer service. I enjoy helping people get what they want. So the first one, the first story was I worked at Arby's and I took a little four-year-old who was really polite and asked me where the bathroom was. Uh, it was outside and through the drive-thru. Like you literally had to cross over the drive-thru, which I don't even know how that's possible. But you literally had to cross the drive through and then go into the building and then go pee. Um, and there was only one bathroom, so. But she was four, and I wasn't going to let some four-year-old, whether her parents wanted her to or not, I wasn't going to let some little girl go outside, cross, you know, a drive through where drivers are, you know, they're not paying attention because they're waiting in a drive through uh, they don't pay attention, they're not looking, they're not, you know, they're on their cell phones. Okay, well, I was 18, cell phones and apps weren't really a big thing then, but... So, I walked her out there, waited for her to do her business, brought her back, told her parents what I did. They thanked me profusely. They were like, we didn't know that this place didn't have an inside bathroom. And I'm like, yeah, it's kind of a silly design, but, you know, there you go. Here's your daughter back. Um, I just wanted to make sure that she was safe. And so as they were leaving, they told my manager that I deserved a raise. I didn't get it, but I still, it was still nice to hear. Uh, then I worked, have worked as a caregiver. I've worked as, um, I worked for the state to be a caregiver for the elderly. And I was a state paid babysitter for my friend's children. And let's see, what else, what else, what else? Um, so then that my next job would have been Dollar Tree and I never really had any kind of weird I mean I guess I have two stories that I could tell you from there one of them is this lady I was in a really bad mood and I don't remember why but I was in a bad mood and the one thing that that a lot of customers forget is that the person behind the register is a person we have feelings and thoughts and dreams and we have bad days and you know we are people too so yelling at us isn't going to get you anything but make you look like an ass in front of hundreds of people that are in the store with you so she was buying the lady was buying poster board and I the code the SKU code is in the center of the board and the way that the, the, we don't have, in the, that Dollar Tree, at the time, we didn't have little, little handheld guns. I don't know if they do or not. It's been forever since I've worked there. I'm in my late 30s now, and I was in my early 20s then, so it's been about, it's been a minute. So I don't know if they still have them or not. But anyways, I couldn't scan it, so I had to roll it a little bit to get the Q code to go on to the reader and the lady started screaming at me that I was bending her effing poster board. I mean, she dropped that F-bomb in the middle of the store and I was so just floored. And I mean, I still floors me. And I lashed out back at her and I started giving her an attitude and I didn't apologize. I basically, without telling her to get her crap and get out, told her to get her crap and get out. Um, and the guy behind me was a little frustrated that I was rude to the lady, but I don't like being yelled at. It was actually not my first customer job, but I was also, you also have to remember, I was in a bad mood. And also, I'm a human. I have emotions. I don't like being yelled at. Um, so I dealt with him. You know, he was, it, it was okay. 
once, you know, I explained to him what had happened, he was like, oh, okay, I can kind of understand. And then Walmart. Walmart is an amazing place. You get homeless poor people that will hang outside, they'll bump smokes off of other customers, they'll, you know, come in, they'll buy some stuff, use the restroom, wash their pits out, and then you have rich people that come in. And the one thing that really frustrates me about the rich people is that they demand customer service like that, with a smile. And you're like, excuse me, this is not Dolce Gabbana. This is not Fendi. This is not fucking Gucci, mama. You take your ass somewhere where you want, if you want a goddamn fucking glass of Cristal and a goddamn, you know, biscotti, you go somewhere where you're going to get that. You're not going to get that here at Walmart. And this, you know, we are just not the kind of place it is, but people honestly expected us to cater to them, and it's, it's so weird. I have several stories. One of them is a lady came in, um, she bought some stuff, she handed me a 50, and I handed her her correct change back. I counted it three times in front of her and other customers. She came back and said that I did not give her $10 of her change back, and I was like, yes, sweetheart, I did. I'm always kind of, I always call everybody sweetheart, honey, you know, doll, whatever. And uh, she kept telling me that I didn't give her her change back, I didn't give her her change back, I, you know, I was wrong, that she didn't have it, and I said, yes, I did. You know, and the lady that was behind her was like, yes, she did. I saw her counting out three times, and so I had to call my manager over, which, let me tell you how this works at Walmart. So when you call your manager over, you have to press a whole, button, a whole bunch of buttons to get your manager over. Then everybody in the aisle has to wait because your register is shut down. You can't, or at least it used to when I worked there. It, it would shut down. You couldn't scan anything. You couldn't get people to come out. Um... So, there's two ways to call. One, you can flip on a little light, and your light will flink, blink, and you they eventually juke their ass over there. And it takes them forever. Walmart, you need to get that shit under control. I'm telling you what, because it does not work. You blink, uh, you'll either call them over, and they'll take 20 goddamn minutes, and you have people lining up at your register that are like, what the hell's going on? And all you can do is say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And eventually, it's that's it's frustrating. And because you can't do anything. Walmart doesn't trust their employees at all. And I kind of understand because people are shady. <laughs> but, um, so I finally get on the manager over there. And they give her her money. They gave her the $10, which she didn't know. She, it wasn't her money. And I was like, she's stealing and I was so upset all day long and then there was another time where I almost got fired for a couple came in and they were an older couple and I was getting their stuff and we were all joking around having a good time and then he goes he starts talking about credit and uh, you know by the time that it's time for him to pay off the credit card he'll be maybe he'll be dead and we all joked and I told him about the time that I was 18 that I got you know duped into a credit card and then all of a sudden we started talking about Trump, and because this was during the Trump election, and I was like, I hope that he doesn't get a lot. You know, we, we were start talking about it. They started talking about it first, and I shouldn't have been roped into the conversation about Trump. I should have just left it alone. But they constantly, you know, they were talking about it, and I started to talk about them about it with them, and basically, they literally called the store and complained said that I was rude and I was I mishandled the products and I mean they went on and that I spoke ill of their of like of like like they completely just like I have never heard of a person people lie like this and they brought when they brought me in to sit down they're like did did you do this and I'm like no we talked about certain things and I only said that I hope that, that, that Trump did not support women. And it's, it's true. He doesn't. He thinks that women are idiots. And, but that's neither here nor there. 
but the fact that they lied like that blew my mind. And then anything I had said to them that was personal, they turned around and used against me to try to get me fired. It didn't work. I got fired for another reason. I was just late too many times. And even though that I worked two hours away and I had to take a two-hour bus ride there and back, it didn't seem to matter. Anyways, guys, uh, if you like this video, leave a thumbs up, even though it doesn't really matter. Uh, just watch it all the way through, if you will. And... Uh, yeah, I'll make a part two if you want. Thanks, guys. Bye.